Hello folks, welcome back to the Parish Notice Board. It's the first one of the new year and Nikki's with me. Now we're in a very windy place for this one, but I tell you what, if you can stomach the wind noise in this episode, uh, it's a good thing because the view is well worth it. This is where I guess where I am, right? Yes, yeah. yes. I'll turn the camera around in a moment and you can see what we can see. Oh, it's it gorgeous. So here we go then, guess where I am. And you might be a more than a little bit envious of us sitting here. Where do you think this is? This is probably one of the most beautiful places I've been on the channel so far. Down there, there's a railway viaduct and that viaduct leads to an old tunnel. Those are your clues. Where and, are we uh, folks? And the other sort of, well, not really clue, but it, we're at a place where it was not planned that we were to be here. So this is um, a bonus, a bonus extra filming session. Indeed. Answers, if you know, in the comments down below. OK, there's no last week's answer because the last parish notice board you saw was before Christmas and we were at home for that one. So um, the next thing to talk about is to do with the little alterations which have, have now become a thing in the episodes. There's also uh, an alteration to the parish notice board which you'll see at the end of this episode. Basically I've um, changed the order in which things come at the end of the little montage. It's not a massive change but I'm sure somebody out there would notice it if I didn't say something. Um, it seems to be that the alterations in the main episodes have been accepted you know, gladly amongst people if they seem to be working. Now the next thing to talk about is to do with the Bradford series. Now Bradford started earlier this week with Harden. Uh, a lot of people liked it. A lot of people that hadn't seen me before have now come on board. Hello if you're new. Um, so I need to make a little mention of something with the Bradford series. Now as I've said before, Bradford is full of places which are big and they are going to be knackering to do because obviously Hilly. there's lots of hills. Um, and I can't do a sort of three or four together in one go. I have to do them in like twos. Now because of that, um, what I'm going to do with the Bradford series is it's going to alternate after the first three episodes. So obviously you've had Harden this week, you'll have Wilson next week, Sandy Lane after that. And at that point, uh, it'll go alternate weeks on Thursday. So, you, so you'll have another video in between the Bradford ones. And the reason for that is just so it gives me more time to make the Bradford episodes. And also in between those Bradford episodes, at some point, you'll be seeing part of our nine county mega trip, which is now planned. Now, I spoke about this in the parish meeting on Monday. If you weren't around for that, then I'm going to go over it again. So basically, uh, in February, we're going to be taking on uh, a, a massive trip, which will go through nine counties of England. And we're going to film at least 13 parishes, uh, at least three tales from the village greens and also a very special video outside Windsor Castle. Now the route we're taking is going to take us down through Worcestershire first. We're going to a place called Child's Wickham, which is a, a quite a small village. Hop over the border, because uh, it's right on the border with Gloucestershire, to a place called Willisey. Head down then to Swindon, where we'll take, uh, take on three there. We'll take on Blunsdon, uh, Stanton Fitzwarren and South Marston. Head across the border to Shrivenham, which is in Oxfordshire. On the next day, through Berkshire, we'll go to uh, Dorney, just over the border into Buckinghamshire, then to Eton. That's where we'll go across the border again and into um, Windsor for Windsor Castle. Uh, and then we'll head up towards Hertfordshire. We'll stay overnight in Letchworth Garden City. This is a big route, as you can probably <laughs> imagine. Uh, we'll be taking on Holwell and Purton, which are in Hertfordshire, Meppershaw and Stondon, which are in Bedfordshire. And on the last day, we'll head back up north on the A1 through Rutland to uh, catch Stretton. So it's a big route, a very big route, um, but it's well worth it. And if I'm going to get to the end of 2023, having visited every county in England, then I kind of need to do it. I don't think we're going to get much sleep on that trip. We're not, but at least the routes I've planned aren't exactly hilly. Not like Haworth, which is coming up <laughs> soon in Bradford. <laughs> Honestly, the missus is going to hate me for that route. It's full of hills. Well, 
What is it? So, just to clarify, I won't hate him for a hill. I need a few hills. But you know, as long as I know what's coming, I'm quite happy. He just needs to get this one through his head and I'm just putting it out there in public so that he'll look back on this video, particularly when he's edited it and thinking, well, okay, as long as I tell the missus what's coming up, she's not going to mind. Yeah, but the problem with that is, Nicky, if you start complaining, then I will refer you to this video. Well, there you go, you see, you've got, you've got it both ways there, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. You've got me saying on video that, no, I don't mind a hill. And then if I do complain, you've got me referring back to the video, haven't you? So you're in a win-win. I guess so. Anyway, the next thing I want to talk about is, is to do with something that you got me for Christmas. Now, I'm going to take you back to Christmas Day, and this video uh, that's coming up your way now, right now, this little clip, is um, me opening my Christmas present from Nikki on Christmas Day. Morning, guys. It's December 25th, it's Christmas Day, and Andy has something on his lap that... Um, it will feature in the channel at some point. The light is horrific, it's got a daylight lamp shining in my face. So let's just uh, move you over so that... Uh, I have a little assistant called Lauren for this, apparently. Yeah, so see I can open his main Christmas present. And once again, Victoria's hiding. Under easy. This is, this is normal. Right. Is he feeling well wrapped? Because uh, the missus is well good at wrapping. No, I didn't wrap it. Oh, dear. Hannah. Hannah wrapped this, yeah. apparently. I'm just to it. Well Word of advice, if you ever get a Christmas present from Hannah, make, just make sure you're, you, you, you've you got like a half an hour talk. An hour? I was going to say half a day. Because trust me. Yeah, she to How many like layers of paper? <laughs> we did quite a few. Hannah, have ever played past the parcel as a kid? Hannah, you, this must have cost you a fortune in wrapping paper. It cost more than presents. Almost like past the parcel. Well, it's ridiculous. I actually, you know, don't have anything other, other than this to do this morning. You know, it's not as if I've got any videos to edit out. Mm. You've already opened all your Christmas goodies. This is the last one. Yes, I have copious amounts of chocolate. <laughs> so, so next year when you see me walking around villages, if you see this, 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 this rather portly frame, yes, portly frame, <laughs> shall we say, you'll know it's me. Right, I think, I think we finally got to the, the crux of this. I hope this is entertaining for you all. Ugh. Right, okay, we have finally got to the. Envelope. Doesn't matter. Why? I don't see anything, you any value. Can any, anyone see any value in this envelope? Because I can't. You weren't meant to rip it. Okay. Uh, I have a, another envelope, a green one, which says experience on it. Ooh, experience. Would you like to take it, open it open? Uh, but actually, before you do, yeah. Um, if you had had no inclination of what sort of present is in there, because I know that you're aware of, you know, potentially what this is, what do you think? What what can you get in those sorts of envelopes? What normally happens when you get an experience? You go travelling somewhere. And you do... Whatever it's... Okay. <laughs> so it could be anything from horse riding to racing Grand Prix. Tell me it's horse riding. Can't see me on a horse. <laughs> <laughs> Probably get a little horse. Right, okay. So this says something new. Uh... And it gives you instructions so of what to do little, next. Okay. So, oh, there's a picture of a shard there. So we've got a little voucher here. It says Merry Christmas on it, which is yeah. appropriate, obviously. This has come from a website called Buy a Gift, apparently. Other websites are available. Other websites are available. So what have we got? Your voucher. 45 minute one-to-one -one helicopter challenge experience for one at Heli Air. So there's a little paragraph here, so I'll read this to you. Uh, got what it takes to hover a helicopter. This surprisingly tricky challenge takes some skill. Learn to maintain a Robinson R-22 aircraft in a motionless flight at a selected AA certified training location. Be warmly welcomed by an experienced instructor who will take you on a training flight around the picturesque landscape. Be blown away by magnificent views as you get to grips with this unique piece of machinery and attempt to control and hover the helicopter yourself. Who knows? Maybe you'll be a pro. So where do we go for this then, Nikki? Well, uh, there is a place in Gloucestershire. Gloucestershire. Yes, but if you have a look on the uh, on the the, the, the paperwork, okay. and it'll go and it'll give you some places as to where 
you can go okay, well, to it, take it up this gift. It doesn't say on here. It but... won't say on there, it will on the website. Okay. And I, I would imagine it's one of those things that does change. So, so if this expires on the 28th of November 2023. So I've got a, just about almost You've a year. You've got 11 months. 11 months. So at some point this year, you'll see me flying a helicopter. That's um, after being in a small aeroplane. That kind on of helicopter. A glider. That is a, a Robinson R22, apparently. Not that I know these things. I mean, I, we visit all sorts of aviation type places, don't we? But you know, I, I never actually know anything about about the aircraft. You know, I, all the research I do about that is stuff that I've I found, and you know, I'm no, no expert on it. So apparently, that's what that helicopter's like. Apparently. So there you go, dear. Merry Christmas. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So and, yeah. Uh, Gloucestershire, you tell me. I think Gloucestershire. Yeah. This is like I said. There's a couple of other places, but Gloucestershire was one that did stick out. So, right, yeah. cool. That sounds good to me. I'll hand you back to you at Nikki now. Right. Oh dear. Oh, terrible that. Right. So, Merry Christmas, everybody. <coughs> Give us a big wave, Andy. The, get the girls in as well. No. No. Oh. <laughs> it's their Christmas too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, as you can see, it's been this. This is just these two bags here are just the wrapping paper. It's been a busy morning. Yeah, pretty morning. much. Yeah. Right. Bye for now, everyone. Bye. So just for a bit of clarification, that means that at some point this year, I will be in a helicopter, probably in Gloucestershire, and flying the thing myself, which is going to be a, a little bit nerve-wracking, but um, hopefully it's good channel content. Well, we've had a, we've had a glider. <laughs> We've had a, a biplane, bi yeah, and now we've got a helicopter. helicopter. So what's next? Red arrows? <laughs> wing walk with the utterly butterly Wing button. walk? I am not doing a wing walk. <laughs> no way am I doing a wing walk. Answers on the postcard are indeed suggestions on the postcard. Just not a chance. No way. I want to know. No way I'm not doing a wing walk. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Anyway, what I will be doing... <laughs> What I will be doing is filming some more places for you next week. So here's the coming week. This is what I'm doing. Uh, on Tuesday, I'm heading to North Lincolnshire for the penultimate time. I'm heading to the Killing Home Twins. I'll be doing North Killing Home, South Killing Home. Also hopping across the border into West Lindsay so I can catch Brocklesby at the same time. And on Friday, I'll be up to York. I'll be doing Cotton Thorpe and Acaster Malbis. And that is what's happening this week with the camera. And this is what's coming up this week on the channel.